Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. During recent months in Vladimir Putin's grim and bloody war, we have become used to an exhausting slugfest between the two sides. But as Lenin himself once put it, there are decades where nothing happens, and there are weeks where decades happen. The sudden advance made by Ukraine's forces into Russian-occupied territory is not only a brilliant tactical move. It could prove a decisive turning point in the war. The seizure by Ukrainian forces of two key towns, Izium and Kupiansk, means that an area the size of Lancashire has been liberated from the Russian invader. And Kyiv's forces are still pushing on. The last time Russian forces had to retreat so close to Moscow was 1941 when they were being pushed back by the German onslaught. Russia has also lost hundreds of armored vehicles and key command posts. This is a military earthquake, and the tremors must be shaking, metaphorically, at least, the walls of the Kremlin itself. So what has accounted for this sudden shift in fortunes? Ukraine's sensational counter-offensive would not have been possible without weapons from friendly countries. Britain has supplied the largest share of any Western country relative to its defense budget. And American HIMARS, High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, missiles have devastated Russian HQs. As well as the arms dumps that Putin's generals foolishly believed were safely behind the lines. U.S. and British radar targeting weapons have also stopped the Russian Air Force from playing much of a role in the conflict. Germany's recent, if belated, decision to send mobile anti-aircraft systems has had another major impact. But perhaps more than guns and ammo. It is the brave Ukrainians fighting spirit and the low morale of Putin's soldiers that seem to be shifting the war decisively. In his great novel War and Peace, Leo Tolstoy outlined how battles are often won for no other reason than that one side wants victory more than the other. Ukrainians have shown they are willing to die to keep their country free. But few Russian soldiers see any glory in throwing away their lives for Putin's arrogant misadventures. During the Great Patriotic War, Russia's term for its heroic repulse of Hitler during the Second World War. Millions of Russian conscripts were mown down on the steps by German machine gunners, tanks and artillery. In contrast, Putin has been able to mobilize only about 750,000 troops. Of these, thanks to leaks from the Russian finance ministry, we know that death grants have been paid to the families of 48,000 soldiers. This represents the biggest Russian loss of life since 1945, and includes some of their best trained and equipped forces. By some counts, Russia has lost 14 generals, a scale of losses unprecedented for almost 80 years.